On behalf of the city council, city manager and staff, I offer our warmest wishes for a prosperous new year. I also wanted to just take three seconds to thank Andre and the, and the casinos, the Mesquite Resort Association, for all the work that they've done in the years as we went through this tremendously trying time financially for everyone, where they have basically reinvented themselves so that they can conceive, they succeed, and as they succeed, the entire city <coughs> succeeds. And thank you for your efforts and all that you do for us and all that you do with the charities that are here in town. On November 24, 1859, The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin would forever change the view of evolution. The landmark book has become the foundation for evolutionary biology. Darwin is often credited with the following quote, It is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Charles Darwin never made that statement. Nor did he coin the phrase, survival of the fittest. That phrase was a quote by Herbert Spencer, who was building on Darwin's work. In fact, the quote is a major misinterpretation of the work that he did. And it was demonstrated by uh, being a misinterpretation by Peter and Rosemary Grant on their work on the Galapagos Islands for the last 40 years. They studied large ground finches. Sounds riveting. And that was just one of the species that Darwin described in his book. Their major findings regarding the finch are as follows. In times of good weather, there is a wide variation in the beaks of the finches. When the island is caught in El Nino or La Nina, Nina, excuse me, drought, uh, a La Nina drought, the population of finches declines dramatically. In the case of, large ground, of the large ground finch, the individuals that survive are the ones with the biggest beaks. Why? Because bigger, stronger beaks enable the birds to crack large, harder seeds, which would be ignored when softer seeds are plentiful. In other words, the strongest of the that species survives. The fake quote is completely wrong with regard to the individuals that survive. It does, however, offer some insight about which species survive. The reason the large ground finches have been around as long as they have is that there is enough variation in the species that whenever conditions are extreme, some individuals in the population are able to adapt to the change. In the case of the large ground finch, those with the biggest, strongest beaks, or tools, if you will, are able to move forward and survive. For those of you thinking, I'm going to draw the conclusion that those with the biggest, loudest mouths in politics survive albeit probably true, that is not the intended use of the analogy. Make sure I have my paperwork going right here. Thanks to the efforts of our staff, we have completed the largest overhaul of the business licensing process in over a decade. I am proud to say business coming to Mesquite will find a more streamlined process and in many cases a faster license issuing process than ever before. In 2011 our businesses faced crushing impact fees. In fact, speaking with the business owners, impact fees were one of the top reasons for not expanding an existing business or opening a new one. When we came into office we made it perfectly clear that that needed to change. When it comes to these fees, our city has led the way by offering payment options for traffic and sewer impact fees. The Virgin Valley Water District and Overton Power District charge their own expensive impact fees. When I took office, I met with each of these entities and we agreed that a change needed to take place. It is hoped that each of these entities will offer some type of payment system to lessen the immediate burden on businesses wishing to expand their current operations or new businesses wishing to come to town. In 2013, the city was once, has once again led the way for others to follow. At our December 6th meeting, staff announced a lower rate after reviewing our traffic impact fees. Again, I am proud to say the new fees in most cases are 83% lower than the previous fees. 
This will save developers and businesses thousands of upfront dollars and make it more affordable to do business in this scheme. Earlier in uh, 2013, my colleagues, Councilman Hafen and Councilman Littman, brought back an ordinance to consider the 3% right-of-way fee. That right-of-way fee charges utilities a pass along to the consumers and other business owners, 3% of the gross, whatever's on your power bill or your telephone bill. Thanks to the efforts of these two councilmen and our council, the new ordinance reduces the fee to 2%. And there is an automatic review for the following year to determine if we will be able to lower the, further lower the rate and eventually sunset the fee. Too often in the past, we have witnessed a number of fanciful projects that have led nowhere and in one case cost the taxpayers of Mesquite $2.5 million. I fully agree our community needs a collaborative, long-term vision. But as a community, we should and will vigorously oppose visionary directions not based on realistic expectations. Visions not based in reality are pipe dreams that do nothing at best, and as we have seen in the past, can be very expensive nightmares. In order to achieve our goals, this council and mayor have adopted a systematic and objective-driven strategy to move our city forward. On November 29, 2013, the city held a public planning session that was designed to identify and clarify a set of actionable goals for the next 18 months. The day-long session included input from local business leaders, organizations, and the public. The meeting led to a set of actionable goals. The, the objectives are tied to quantifiable actions. To date, here are the results of those efforts. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You probably can't even bring that up. I can barely read it, and I'm sitting in front of it. We had three basic premises. Be good, be good government. Do better business. We had to keep it real simple for our minds. Build great community. <coughs> The action items for Be a Good Government were Mayor and Council will each attend at least one community event each month. That happens. At Council meetings, the City Manager will report to the entire Council regarding comments from Citizens Coffee, Citizen Coffees. 